Hello, welcome. Welcome back if you're returning. Today's video is another one from the UK. This is a visit to Royal Windsor. Now we couldn't film inside Royal Windsor Castle because it is a working castle and the royals do still live there. So this is the little town, a little shop in town and it has the most adorable paper products. You can see there was a lot of knitted things. Everything's looked very homemade and rustic. It's beautiful. Um, again, in the UK, I know it's the, a bit of a universal theme with the woodland and, you know, nature, but uh, I really went with it. <laughs> a lot of felted items, a lot of very, again, like I said, rustic. There was lots of toadstools and things like that. So I did pick a few things up and if you wait till the end of the video you will see some of the things that I've picked up for Christmas decor mostly for the house this video will not include um, a lot of the um, antiques that I've picked up antique pieces um, or any of the items that I've thrifted I think there are two items that I've thrifted which are a couple of little reindeers but you will see at the end um, I certainly went with the woodland theme So if you've watched any of my previous videos, and I'm referring to mainly last Christmas's videos, you know that I did everything on a very tight budget. I tried to hardly buy anything new for Christmas. This hasn't happened this year. I've gone a little wild. I've picked up quite a few new things, but when I get home, I will be recycling. So I'll be replacing my new things with the old things that I've got and recycling those and passing them on. Um, because uh, otherwise I'll just have too much stuff. Um, a lot of told stools, as I said, those were lovely. A lot of these little Christmas cloches with various items inside and um, little French fancies that I found in one shop were just beautiful. Again, a lot of felted items um, that I've seen and picked up some. Um, I tried to pick up things that uh, specifically I couldn't get anywhere else or would only find in the UK. So um, a lot of my decor that I've picked up is again, very specific. So this is Windsor Castle, this is Royal Windsor Town, which was decorated beautifully for the holiday season. Um, it is, the castle sits at the top of the hill at the head of the town, and it is quite a beautiful castle. It is, obviously, it is still a residence of the royal family. They do reside there quite often, and it, this is actually where the Her Majesty the Queen was laid to rest with... Um, Prince Philip and her mother and father are in the little chapel. So we did get to visit that. As I said, we were allowed in all the buildings, but we weren't allowed to film. But as you can imagine, they are just incredible and steeped in history. And they are, if you ever get a chance to go there, I have a bit of a thing for castles anyway, but this truly was a beautiful place to visit. We also got to see changing of the guard, so this is a little bit of what we saw.
just before you reach the castle at the head of the town is a beautiful bronze of Queen Victoria. Just down the River Thames was a little town called Henley-on-Thames. Now this is synonymous with the boat races. Uh, so there was, it's a lovely old town and they were out on their boats practicing on the Sunday mornings, you know, come rain or come shine. We also saw a beautiful display of old world war two vehicles um, this was done in uh, remembrance of remembrance day so it was uh, they were collecting for the british legion um, and a lot of these little um, mailboxes were decorated for christmas and the fall so those were really lovely as i said it's a very old medieval town and sunday morning we just heard the church bells and it was really quite lovely So this video I have included a few of the items that I've picked up. Um, a lot of them are again very themed towards the woodland, that type of thing again and there's lots of felted items. This little mouse is really cute on the skis and they were all very reasonably priced. Now I'm not sure what's in the shops back in Canada but um, I know it was very, very woodlandy and nature inspired here. I love this little robin. Um, I think I picked up two, but I can't remember. And the prices were great. And I've definitely gone with a robin theme this year. Um, not sure why, I think it's because it's something, it's very British. Um, again, and these little reindeers and there's all sorts. They're just really, really cute. Well, can anyone imagine why I picked this little guy up? It looks like my little Dudley, whom I'm missing terribly, by the way. Um, I just thought he was definitely going to have to come home with me. I found a lot of homemade knitted things, and this reminded me of being a little kid and going to Christmas bazaars and picking up uh, little items that had been knitted. You just don't seem to see them so much anymore. I remember taking my own kids and buying them hats and gloves and uh, little things like this for the Christmas tree. So I did pick up a few little things again more nostalgic than uh, probably decorative but I just thought they were really nice so this these two reindeers were they caught my eye immediately because of the color the pink I thought they would look just beautiful in my new green hallway a um, dollar fifty a pound fifty I picked these up in a little thrift store um, and just love them. I also got some gorgeous green velvet ribbon to tie around their little necks so they will take pride of place when I get back. I have seen lots of YouTubers making these little bells and when I saw these ones, I picked up two packets. They were a pound eighty-five. Honestly, you couldn't make them for that, and they have such a lovely tone to them. Um, so I'm looking forward to putting those up when I get back. These three little church mice I actually picked up at a cathedral that we visited in Coventry, which had been bombed quite. It was quite devastated during the war. Um, but I saw them and I thought they were just gorgeous. Uh, these I've been picking things up like these from a lot of the castles and stately places that we've visited this was obviously from Windsor Castle um, they're a little bit more expensive than normal decorations but I figure these are so specific and you I will hang on to these for years and years to come and hopefully you know pass them on to my kids because they are so beautiful so well made um, and I, like I said I have got a few of these that I will be uh, putting up on the tree I have been obsessed with Christmas cards and wrapping paper also. I've picked up quite a few sets of the Christmas cards because they are so, again, specific and different. I got some from 
Windsor Castle. I got some that depicted Windsor Castle. These are 3D ones. Again, I've got the uh, woodland themed. I picked up a few of those. So those will be um, probably family members will be getting those. I will display some at home. But uh, again, really unusual and I just don't see anything like this uh, when I'm shopping at home. I picked up these postcards, they were three, just under four pounds. I thought I would make a little display, probably in the library. Um, they are of the Queen, obviously, and a few, there was a beautiful tea towel that was um, from the Royal Collection, and it was also depicted the Royal Jubilee that just passed. These papers I got from a little uh, paper shop in Oxford and they are beautiful quality they are thick it's no they're supposed to be wrapping paper but I don't very I doubt very much I will be using these as wrapping um, I will find a use for them I got three Christmas ones and I think I got I got two Christmas papers this one of the old stamps I got one Halloween and one that is very inspired by William Morris So right at the beginning of the video, there was the little shop. These were the items I picked up in that shop, the paper items. This is a 3D advent calendar, and I just love the artwork. Again, it's very rustic, it's very country, um, and I just love the pictures of the woodland animals. It's just lovely. This I'm going to put up in my kitchen, I think. And then I picked up this amazing little 3D um, night before Christmas advent calendar. I was going to give this to the grandkids, but I just love it so much. I think I might keep it and let them play with it, obviously, when they come over. So I'm really looking forward to putting that together. I thought that was just lovely. I mentioned my fascination with robins well here's this pillow it is beautiful it is velvet it is green both sides has different shades of green I just loved it and it has the robins on as I said I've gone with a bit of a theme uh, this was eight pounds I'm leaving the actual pillow form with my sister and I'm taking the pillow to obviously to fit it in my suitcase I've also picked up these little tea towels. There were loads. Um, this was a, from a shop called Primark, which is really, really reasonably priced. And the things that they have in it are so good. Um, so those are going to go out in my kitchen for Christmas. I picked up two of these yellow, goldy yellow velvet pillows, three pounds each. Um, I also picked up two, I think they... I got two navy ones, so those will be lovely in my living room. I also grabbed two Christmas holly and robin. Again, these remind me of, they're very William Morris, but these also match the bedspread, uh, the quilt cover that I picked up, which is in a flannel. So that's for the bed, and I just thought they were adorable. These are the pillows, um, the pillow covers. So as you can see there, they are made of flannel, but they are lovely. And I just wouldn't find anything like this anywhere else. Believe me, I've looked. So I snapped those up. They're a little heavy and a little bulky, but I had to bring them home. I wanted to show you very quickly one of the items I'd picked up. This little ring is Edwardian. It's called an Edwardian flower ring. It is a diamond and rubies and I love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed a quick visit to Windsor and a few of the things that I've picked up. And I'll see you next time.